going to be doing a little before and after voicing. This is a Kawhi in the studio, Studio B here at MTSU, and it is very bright. It is very, it's very gnarly, and actually, I've known this piano was gnarly from the beginning, but finally they started asking about it, so today I'm going to be doing a light voicing down, but here's what it sounds like. <laughs> This is before tuning and before voicing. Stu. This be strike point needle voicing. I'm just using a, a basic needle. I'm just going to be giving it a little strike point voice, and I'm going to start right. Actually, it's at the B, sanding on the top. Listen to the difference. That is a major difference. I hope you can hear it on the tape, uh, on the video. I'm just gonna feather in the bass. I've already done my needling down here. is a massive difference made with pinpoint voicing strike point and this that I teach I teach this in the mentorship uh, I don't know how much of this video will be on YouTube and how much of this video will actually be in the mentorship but some of it will be on YouTube at least and then the rest of it will be in the mentorship showing exactly how I'm doing this and how I use this simple sandpaper uh, Really, literally, the director of the studio kind of said, hey, some of the guys are coming in here. They're not liking this piano. This is terrible. From the beginning, when I first saw this piano, I always thought, this thing is gnarly. But I didn't. I kind of said, yeah, yeah, we like it. But now they're starting to say, people are complaining. They're not liking it. And now, a much different sound within, I would say, less than, I mean, less than 10 minutes. Uh, because I know exactly what to do. I know exactly where to go. It's not, um, it takes a little bit of time to sort of understand this, but once you do understand this, then you can be confident about voicing. That is key, and I, I learned most of all this method from my from years of experience, but I was brought on to this by my mentor, Jack Hamilton, and this is the rapid voicer method, uh, and this is sort of a modified version because I'm in a studio, a lot of this is when we're in uh, uprights or we're in people's homes, you can very quickly tame the piano. Uh, so I'm just modifying the rapid voicer method, but still the same idea on this piano because I didn't want to go so far down uh, because I know they like this piano for you know rock country and they like it bright. I'm in Nashville and I know a lot of the clients I meet, they like that bright gnarly piano, but, uh, but I just want to give them a little bit less of that so that it can be tuned and it can still sound good when you're playing open chords and stuff. You know? This piano does need tuned, so I'm going to finish the, the high end, and then I'll keep going. So let's uh, do the high end. Okay, so I sped this up, and like I said, I take this really slow in the mentorship. So if you want to learn, go to apexpiano.com. Let's get the first impression after the tuning and the voicing. <laughs> much more cohesive sound and you can do that just by learning the art of voicing and so if you're not in the mentorship join at apexpiano.com god bless